This interactive maths activity can be found at www.visnos.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about addition and subtraction facts, which I'm going to launch from here. As you can see, the interface opens and we have a number fact, in fact, an addition fact, which is 10 plus 0 equals 10. In all the activities of Visnos, when you move over a control, you'll see that the description appears for what the control does. So this arrow here is to move penguins between the icebergs. So if I click it, the penguin moves over and the fact changes to 9 plus 1 equals 10. So you can go through all the particular facts using this method. And you can send them backwards by clicking the left arrow. Okay, this next control here is a dice, and this generally means some kind of random feature in most of the activities. So when I click it, you'll see the clouds of fog move in, and you can't be sure what the actual addition fact is. So the idea is you could reveal part of the um, interface. So for example, I could click the cloud here to reveal it, and you can see there's one penguin on here, which would mean when I reveal this card here, there should be one. Uh, we could reveal the total next, for example. So 1 plus question equals 2. So the students would be able to work out that there must be one on the second iceberg, which is correct. So then that can be revealed like so. So of course you don't have to do it in that order. You could reveal what's um, on the second cloud. 2. Reveal this, which is 3. And so then the students would be able to deduce that this must be 5. So what else have we got? You can also hide the water by clicking this control, but we'll get to that in a moment. This next one is the iceberg, and when I remove it, the penguins jump into the water, and you'll notice that these cards flip over. Let's just do that again. And you can see what was an addition fact changes to a subtraction fact. So, you'll notice the total moves over there. So. What we've got here is 5, subtract 2, the 2 that have jumped in, equals 3. And likewise, you can use the arrows to move them in. And the penguin dives into the water, and the subtraction fact changes. Likewise, the random button will work with this. And as you'll see now, the sea has gone um, opaque, so you can't actually tell how many penguins are in the water. So I could reveal that there are 4, I think, which is correct. And we could reveal the final um, answer. So what take away 4 equals 5. So the student would have to work out this answer here. So 9 subtract 4 equals 5. So let's just reveal the amount there. So in this case, the 9 is the total number of penguins on the screen. The 4 are the ones that have jumped in, leaving the final answer, which is the 5 left on the iceberg. Okay, next thing you're going to look at is the number line. So I can click this control here, and now we see a pictorial uh, representation on the line of this particular number fact. So the green indicates there were nine originally, the um, four, one, two, three, four have jumped in. So that moves backwards to give you five. So this is a really good way to introduce number lines. So we could um, change the fact by moving one of the penguins back on, and you'll see that the number line will update to show this new fact. So now we're only moving three back because there's three in the water. Move this one up and it gets redrawn again. So that's moving two back to give you seven and so on. And of course this will also work with addition facts. So if I bring the um, iceberg back in, the penguin jumps onto the second iceberg and now we see a different representation which is 8 on the first iceberg plus 1 on the second gives us 9. So you'd normally start with that, obviously, before the subtraction facts. If we move this penguin back over, the orange part will disappear because it's only um, they're all on the first iceberg. So I could send a few over, and you can see how it's actually the part in the middle which changes between the lines. We're always stuck on 9. Which gets us back to um, how do you actually change the number of penguins on the screen. We've seen that you can create a random problem, like so. And this will be represented on the number line as well. So you can then talk about what does that mean, what's 
actually on these um, icebergs. So hopefully the students would realize that there's 10 on the first one. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4 on the second, which gives you 14. Okay, now there's another way you can um, change the number of penguins, which is by clicking this edit. And we get two slider controls to appear. The first one sets the total. So we can see this instantly updates. So you can pick any number up to 20. And the second one is how many are on the first iceberg. So there's six, seven, and we can see very quickly um, this would update the actual addition fact at the top as well. So it's a very nice pictorial way to show addition facts. Um, anything else? I guess that's everything really. So thanks for watching. Um, come back for more videos soon. Thanks.